Okay, in this lesson we're going to be using the quadratic formula to help us solve quadratic equations where our leading coefficient um, is not 1. So we're going to do the first one and the tenth one. So for number 1, we have 2n squared plus 3n minus 5. and that equals zero. So the first thing you want to do is write down your A, B, and C. So your A is the number in front of your um, variable, the coefficient that goes with your variable squared. This is your B and this is your C. All right, so our A is two our B is 3, and our C is negative 5. Now you want to write down the quadratic formula. So X equals negative B, plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC, all over 2A. And then you're just plugging in. B is um, 3, so negative, and then times 3, plus or minus the square root uh, of 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 5, all over 2 times 2. So a negative times 3 is negative 3 plus or minus the square root we have um, 3 squared is 9 and then we have a negative 8 times a negative 5 which is um, that's going to be positive 40 all over 4 so x equals negative 3 plus or minus 49, uh, 40 plus 9 is 49, so the square root of 49 all over 4. So negative 3 plus or minus 7 over 4. So we're going to have two answers. X equals negative 3 plus 7 over 4. And X equals negative 3 minus 7 over 4. Alright, and so... Um, Negative 3 plus 7, that's going to give us 4. So 4 over 4, that's going to be 1. And then we're going to get negative 10 over 4. Okay, so I don't know if you can, um, let me put this in a different spot so you guys can see it. So this right here. Um, so negative 4 over 4, that's going to give us, I'm sorry, not negative 4. So I'm looking here. Negative 3 plus 7, that's 4, divided by 4, so x equals 1. And now I'm looking here. Negative 3 minus 7 is negative 10, divided by 4, so x equals negative 10 fourths. And we can simplify that, uh, divide top and bottom by 2 to get negative 5 over 2. Alright, so 1 and negative 5 halves. That looks like it's going to be, so negative 5 halves if you put it in your calculator. So negative 5 divided by 2. That's going to give you negative 2.5. So A is going to be your answer. All right, now let's do number 10. <clears throat> so number 10 is 5n squared 
minus 20 equaling 5n. So we got to get this in standard form, so we have to move the 5n to the other side. So we have to subtract 5n. So we have 5n squared minus 5n minus 20 equals 0. All right. Write down your A, B, and C. So your A is 5, your B is negative 5, your C is negative 20. Okay, from here, use the quadratic formula. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we have a negative times negative 5 plus or minus um, b squared, so negative 5 squared minus 4 times 5 times negative 20. all over 2 times 5. Alright, so x equals, so we have a negative, so I'm looking here, a negative times a negative 5 gives us a positive 5. All right, and then that's going to be plus or minus the square root. Negative 5 squared, that's going to be 25. And then we have a negative 4 times 5 times negative 20. That's going to give us 400 divided by 10 so x equals 5 plus or minus the square root of 425 all over 10 so is there a factor of 4 so we gotta break um, we have to break this up is there a factor of 425 that's a perfect square um, 25 for sure. So let's do 425. So four, square root of 425 can be rewritten the square root of 25 times the square root of 17. So the square root of 25 is 5. So we're going to do 5 plus or minus 5 square root of 17 all over 10. So x equals 5 tenths plus or minus 5 square root of 17 over 10. So 5 tenths is a half plus or minus and then we have a half here. So one over uh, one square root of seventeen over five, but we don't need to put that one there. So we just have square root of seventeen over five. All right, so we're going to have one half plus square root of seventeen over five, and one half minus square root of seventeen over five, and those are our exact answers. So let's see. Number 10, which one that's going to be? Okay, um, so if you look, I think we made a slight mistake. The answer is D. Um, if we go back, um, right here. So 5 over 10 is a half. Alright, so this it should be 1 over 2, not 1 over 5. 
Okay, so then uh, one half plus square root of 17 over 2. So that's going to be yeah, it's going to be D. All right. So hope that uh, hope that helps you complete the rest of the worksheet.